Hey Alley Cats, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to Alley Cat Beauty. My name is Allie and I'm here just trying to figure out this whole beauty game with all of you. So in today's video, we are going to be going through my entire makeup collection. I've got my drawers all set up right here. Um, and then I've got a bunch of palettes. Um, I just did an Ipsy advent calendar unboxing, so I will be including those items along with my boyfriend got me the Harry Potter collection from ColourPop, so I'll be including that as well. Other than that, at the end of the video, I'll essentially be doing an inventory of every item that I have in my collection because my goal this year is to use up a lot of products and try not to bring as much in because I have a lot of products that are probably going to expire soon um, and I definitely have more than I need so I do want to get use out of everything. I do want to have a couple project pans going on throughout the year. I'll be shopping my stash throughout the year as well so those are going to kind of be some of the more consistent videos that you'll see from me hopefully this year. Other than that, we're going to count my entire collection today, go through all of the makeup I have and hopefully set some goals for what I want to be using throughout the year. So let's get started. Okay, Alley Cats. So this is, I believe, my whole collection. For the most part, there might be a couple things straggling and a couple bags here and there, which I will get and bring to show you guys. Basically, I've got what's in my current everyday makeup bag. I've got all of these products from Ipsy that we just got in my advent calendar, a ton of palettes, and then I've got more palettes. And then I've got the Harry Potter collection from ColourPop, which I will be going through as well. And then I've got these four makeup storage containers. We are going to be going through all of these and then we're going to reorganize everything. As we go along, I'm going to do a count of everything that I have. That way I can have a makeup inventory and I can kind of know how many products I have and then get a feel of how many I want to use up for the year or at least how many I want to hit pan on. So um, that is what we're going to do. So I'm going to zoom you guys in a little more and we'll start with the counting and going through the collection. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start in order because I do take a makeup inventory every few months. It's not exactly a science as to when I take it, but I do start kind of in order of how I do my makeup. So I do primers, foundations, concealers, and powder as my base, and then I go into the face products, so bronzer, blush, highlighter, and then I kind of go into eyes, and then I go into lip products and then I move on to eyeshadow. So that is how we're gonna do this and I'm gonna be kind of keeping track as we go. I've got my little notebook right here that I'm gonna be writing my notes in. I don't take down every single product that I have, but I do write down like my total counts. You might see Navi over here in the corner down right here um, and this blanket I got from my um, boyfriend's abuelita um, and it's a frozen two blanket so thank you Pita and let's get started. So I'm gonna put all of this to the side and just get out all of my primers. I think that that is it for primers. Oh, this is a primer too. So I've got five primers right now. I have two of the e.l.f. So one is a luminous putty primer and one is a poreless putty primer. And then I have my Becca Zero. This one's supposed to be a no pigment virtual foundation, but I actually use this as a primer. Um, and then I've got the Morphe Revitalizer Foundation Primer and then the Smashbox Vitamin Glow Primer. As we go along, I'm gonna be taking a tally of how many we have, and then um, at the end, we'll do a total inventory. So next is foundation. I don't think I have that many either. So I think I really only have two foundations right now. And then concealer, this is where I probably have a few more. So these are gonna be all the concealers that I have. Oh, this one too. 
but I've got this Revolution. It's like a concealer. It's a matte based concealer kit, shades five through eight. And then I have the Tarte Shape Tape in 20S Light Sand. I've got the Rare Beauty Concealer in 210N. I have the Morphe Concealer in C1.55. The Kosas Concealer, this one's in 4.5N. And then I have an ABH sample size in three as well. So I have two sample sizes and one, two, three, four full size or deluxe, which is six concealers total. So powders. These are my powders. I've got the Revolution Banana Light Baking Powder, Laura Mercier and Translucent. I have a Halo Glow setting powder from e.l.f the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder, and then the Airbrush Flawless Finish in One Fair from Charlotte Tilbury. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that brings my base count, so primers, foundation, concealer, and powder, to a total of 19 products, which is still a lot, but Comparing it to the last time I counted, I had 29. So 19 products total for my base, that's not too bad. So next we're gonna move on to the face. So we're gonna start with bronzer, blush, and highlighter. So this is my bronzer drawer. It's actually pretty small. Seeing as I love bronzer, blush is actually my problem. <laughs> so, cause I'm just looking at my drawers right now and I have so many blushes. But anyways, so I've got this, I count this as a bronzer and this as a blush. So I do count them separately, even though they're together in a palette. Um, but I have a brand new Tarte Park Avenue Princess, a full size. Um, I bought this and I was like, okay, that's the last blush I can buy because I have so many that I need to get through and clearly I've used quite a few of them, but I don't wanna be adding too many more. Um, I've also got this Morphe Bronzer and Debutante and then this one is Pacifica. I don't actually know what the name of it is, but it's a really nice shade. And then I just got this one. This is the Trusty Color and Contour Cheek Stick and then the Morphe Dimension Effect Contour Stick in Hashtag Effect 13, and then the e.l.f. Bronzer in Sunkissed Glow. Oh, and this Tristique one is in Brazilian Bronze. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six bronzers. Now we're gonna move on to blush. This one is gonna be a doozy because I have, I kid you not, so many blushes. So I have my two Animal Crossings blushes, um, the Flower Tender and the Flower Power. I've got this Laura Mercier in Rosé, and then this one is the Be Cheeky Powder Blush in All Dolled Up, and then I've got the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek in Work. I feel like everyone had that because it was a Sephora birthday gift. I've got this Lottie London Ombre Blush in Haze, this Elf blush in Sparkling Rose. I've got an Ulfra blush in Chameleon. Ace Beauté blushed up in Plummy from V Cosmetic um, in Natural Kiss. The Tres Luce Beauty, the Ready to Bounce Cream Blush in Vacation. I've got this one from Complex Culture. It's the Good Glow Blush in Glow Rush. Kaja, this one is a Mochi Pop Blush in Aura. KBD in Rose. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 blushes total. So I'm gonna put these two back in this other drawer um, and I'm gonna figure out how to organize this so that it fits. So for highlight, I will say I do have these three from the Harry Potter collection. So it's Dobby, Hedwig, and Buckbeak. Let me grab the rest of them.
Okay, so I believe, oh, this one too. I believe these are all of my highlighters. So I have these two Guilty Glow highlighters from um, Veramona. I have these three from Harry Potter. I have this one from Becca. It's the Becca Ignite. Oh, and you know what? I actually have a full size of that too. So I have this one as well, which is a full size of this one. I've got the e.l.f. in white gold, Ofra, the Ofra by Talia Mar highlighter in Soho. And then I have the Morphe by Coca-Cola Bubbly Babe. I do have the other two from this collection as well, but since those are way too dark for me, I do have those in like a single shadow drawer So since I've used them as that. I also have the Il Maquillage Gold Star Highlighter Dust. And then I have from Space Case Cosmetics, Seen from Space 1A. This one is from Makeup Forever. It is the Starlet Powder in Iridescent Pearl 05. This is the IBY Radiant Glow Highlighter in 24 Carrot Glow, the K Voss Fairy Dust Pressed Highlighter in Moonlight. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 full size or deluxe and one sample. So I have 15 highlighters now. So clearly blush and highlighter are where I have the most products so far. Um, so that does kind of need to change. So I don't want to be purchasing any more highlighters. I do want to be using what I have and kind of getting through them. So that is that count. I'm going to put everything away. Since we're here in this box, this is my only glitter. It is from the ColourPop Animal Crossings collection. Um, it's in Bellionaire. I honestly have not used it and I don't know if it's dried up or not, but I don't wanna open it and find out until I really need to use it. I should probably start using that though, but that is my one glitter. So I'm just gonna take a note of that as well. So overall for my face products, which is the bronzer, blush, and highlight. Um, I have a total of 36 items, which is the same as I had last time. The goal would be to get that number down as well. Now we are going to move on to eyes. So eye primers, brows, mascaras, and eyeliners. I have the ABH eye primer. I have this Winky Lux Peeper Perfect Eye Primer. I've got this e.l.f. Eye Primer in Sheer and the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer um, in Kareem as well. So in total, I have four eye primers. And then for brows, I have, these are my only brow gels. So I've got two from ABH. One's a sample, deluxe sample, and one is a full size. And then I've got this one from Benefit. It's the brow tint. Honestly, this one's pretty dried up but it still does give me a little bit of a tint, so I'm gonna keep that. So I have three brow gels, I have four eyebrow pencils, so I have the Milani Precision, Precision Brow in 130 Soft Brown. I have the Milk Gel, Gel Brow in Dark Brew, the Arch Rival from Lottie London, and this one is in Dark Brown, and then I have the Sephora um, retractable brow pencil in soft charcoal. So I have four brow pencils as well. Now we're gonna do mascaras and eyeliners. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, four black eyeliner pencils, and then one gray, one, two, three, four brown, most of which, I think all of them are kind of a shimmery brown, and then one green shimmer, one pink, one, two whites, and then three liquid liners. So in total, I have 13 eyeliners and 16 total if you count the liquid. And then for mascara, I've got this new one from Kevin Aquan. And then this one is the one I've been using every day, the Thrive Cosmetics um, liquid, 
to say liquid lash extensions. I've also been using this fully charged one from Pure. I really don't like this one because it doesn't really do much for my lashes. Maybe I got a dried out one, but I don't really like that one. Um, and then I've got this Lux Lash from Jasmine Beauty. I've got the Ciate London Wonderland Mascara. Got one from Fenty Beauty, the Full Frontal Mascara. I've got the Bad Gal Bang. I've got this Milk Kush Mascara. I absolutely love this one. This one and the Thrive are a couple of my favorites. Um, the Bad Gal Bang too. Then I've got this Roller Lash from Benefit. That one's a really good one but they're real from Benefit as well. These ones are my favorite when I want a natural lash. And then I've got the Magic Feather Intense Volume Mascara from Ditto. I've got the It Cosmetics Lash Blowout, and then a small one of the Bad Galbang from Benefit. So in total, I have 15 mascara, sorry, 13 mascaras, whoops. Let's go into lips because that is like my next biggest drawer selection. So I've got quite a few lip products. So this is gonna take a while to count, but let's start with lip liners because I know I don't have as many of those. So that'll be like the easiest one. <laughs> So I've got this from Calice, the gel lip liner. This one in Spiced, I have the Morphe lip liner in Love Bite, the NYX Professional in Nude Suede Shoes. I've got the Thrive Cosmetics lip filler lip liner in Devon, and the Sephora lip liner in Sink or Suede. So I have five lip liners. I may come across a few more, but that's all I have for now. Oof, I don't even know what to do next. There's just so many things. Let me actually just separate these. So backtracking real quick, I forgot that I also have these graphics ink liners from the Harry Potter collection. So I do have four more eyeliners, four more liquid liners than I said I did. Let's start with lip balms. So I have these four from the Harry Potter collection, plus this one from Sephora. So that is gonna be five of those. And then lip tints, I have and I was completely wrong. Look at me, just missing everything. I do have this Il Maquillage lip liner. So that's six lip liners. So for the lip tints, so I have these two from the ColourPop. So these are the Fruit Roots. I have two of those and the Fruit Basket, two of those. So that's four just to tint lip tints. And then I also have this one, this is from the other one. I used up the red one, but this is the incomparable. So I have five of those, plus this one from Semwa Beauty. Um, it's the Luminary Lip Crayon in True. I have this one from Mayel, the Clearly Brilliant Tinted Lips. This one's in Nectar, and then I have this from Girlactic, which I just got. It's a three-in-one lip sparkle bomb. And then I have this permanent pout from Pop Beauty. You know, I'm actually gonna put this as a liquid lip because that one is more of a liquid lip than anything. So I have four in there, five, six, seven, eight lip tints. Now let's move on to lip gloss, which is gonna be a lot. So I have this one from Morphe in boho i've got this one from sophia and mabel actually i think this is a lip oil so i would actually count this in the lip, lip tints so i'm gonna put that as nine i have this one i don't remember what brand it's from because 
everything is wiped off the packaging, but I really love this. I got this from Ipsy. I've got a Pat McGrath in Love Potion, a Bare Minerals Gen Nude in Darling, um, another Pat McGrath in Sunset Rose, I've got another Pat McGrath in Flesh 6. The Kosas Wet Lip Oil, this one is in Dip, two from the Coca-Cola collection from Morphe, right here in Classic Babe and Cher. Ofra Lip Gloss in Golden Rose, and then this one from Bare Minerals, the Marvelous Moxie Buttercream in Must Have Pink. And then in here I have the two more Coca-Cola ones in Tastemaker and Overflow. And then I have two from Huda Beauty in Snobby and Enchanting. So in total, that's 15 lip glosses. That is a lot of lip glosses. And then for liquid lips, I have these two from Huda Beauty, the Medusa and Flirt. The NYX Lip Lingerie in Bedtime Flirt. Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Oh My Rai Rai. The Pop Beauty Permanent Pout in Bubbly Berry. The Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip from Jordana in Macaron. Tartist from Tarte. I'm not sure what colors these are all in, but I've had them for like forever. <laughs> 10 liquid lips. So for lipsticks, I got four of these bullets from the Harry Potter collection. This one I used to use in theater when I did musical theater. It's so old, um, but it does not smell that bad and it's still good, I think. It's probably really expired, but honestly, it doesn't hurt when I put it on, so I'm gonna keep it. I've got this one from Collective Privé by Frida. Actually, I need to count this as a gloss from Tarte as well because um, it is half gloss, half lipstick. So I will make that 16 lip glosses plus this one in Tarte and Jam. I've got the three Pat McGrath ones in Christy, Beautiful Stranger, and Flesh number three. Bella Pier Cosmetics in Envy. Context in Los Angeles, two from Shuamora, one in MRD and one in MBG. Melt Cosmetics, I've got in Boyer. Princess Marcella Borghese, Borghese, I have in Bonus. Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. I have a YSL in, not sure what color, but it's red. Laura Mercier, oh, this is also a gloss, so this needs to go into glosses, so that's 17 glosses. Maybelline, so this is in Totally Toffee. I've got two MAC lipsticks, one in Diva and one in Viva Glam. I've got a Humble Matte from It Cosmetics. This one is from Urban Decay and Disobedient. I also have 1993 from Urban Decay. I've got the NYX Full Throttle Lipstick in 01, I guess. Fenty Beauty, this one is in Madame. Sephora, I have this orange one. Hot in Havana. Becca in Bear. I've got this one from Tarte in Sunset Cruise. And then Morphe, I've got this in Flirt and Milk, I have this in New Whip. So let's do a count of those. So I have 27 of those, so bullet lipsticks. Oh crap, that's not even right because I didn't count these bullets. So I had 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 bullet lips. So I have 78 lip products total, which is insane. So I definitely need to get through a lot of these lip products. So that is gonna be a huge goal for me in 2023. Um, but with that being said, my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna go charge it real quick, and then um, we will go back and go over eyeshadows, single shadows, palettes, and all that fun stuff. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. So we're gonna go into single shadows now. So I've pulled out 
Um, I believe this is all of my single shadows. We do have that glitter that's in the little drawer over here, but these are gonna be all my singles. So I've got these two from Nomad. I think this is the one that's kind of falling all over the place. It's like this beautiful like dark green smoky color but it did shatter so I do have to be careful with that one and then this one's kind of more of like a terracotta reddish orangey um, neutral shadow so I have those two and then this one I just got from Ipsy from Ciate London I have this one from Space Case Cosmetics I actually did a whole video with this one and then like I said I have the coca-cola morphe serve sparkling and pop it highlighters in here I do use them more as single shadows because like this one is obviously way too dark for my skin tone to use as a highlight so um, that is going to be a single shadow color for me this one is just kind of slightly too dark so I probably could pull it off but it might still have a little bit of a cast so I tend to use that as a single shadow then I have this Maybelline 24 Color Tattoo 24 Hour by iStudio. And then this is from Bare Minerals and this is in Bare Radiance. And then this one is the Natasha Denona Silk. Two of these, so this is IBY Beauty City Limits in Headliner. I do have two of them. I'm leaving the other one in the box just because I do wanna give it away to someone if I can. But it's this dark brown shimmer. This from Wander Beauty. It's a nice gold. And then this from Pixie. I'm afraid to open it because it's shattered. So I just kind of mixed the two shades together. So it's now a single shade. I am putting small palettes as a category. So these are all considered small palettes. And then I do have one more single shadow. It's from NYX. It came in this palette. Um, I actually created this palette. I had like a bright shimmer, a medium shimmer, and then a light brown and this darker brown. Honestly, I don't know what this color is called, but um, it's a dark brown from NYX. 14 single shadows. So now we're gonna move on to small palettes. These are the only small palettes I have. So I have this one from Farah Beauty. So I'm considering small palettes as quads or below, so four shadows or less. So this is a two panner from Farah Beauty. And then I've got this one from e.l.f. I have used this a few times, but honestly green is sometimes hard to match with. So I haven't used it too, too much. This one from Oriza is a really nice neutral shimmer palette with one single matte. And then this one is from Jewel Smith Beauty. It's similar to what that pixie one looked like before I broke it and mashed all the shadow together into one and then this one I actually love using I'm super into this shimmer shade from Natasha Denona this is the um, Biba palette the like little mini one that came as a gift with purchase or like a set or something last holiday season this one is from basic beauty it's the eyeshadow quad in hot cocoa bomb it's a nice neutral four pan as well similar to that ariza one i am completely forgetting i have these quads from ColourPop. And I completely forgot about this as well. So this is the Super Shock Shadow and Balloon Pop. So I actually have one more single shadow. So I do have these four as well from ColourPop. So I have the Nook Ink one, which is the green palette. Super cute. I've got the What A Hoot palette, the neutral. I've got the La Belle of the Ball, which is the purple one. And then I have Five Star Island, which is the pink and yellow one. So these four plus the six that I have out there make 10. So I have 10 small palettes. We're gonna move on to face palettes, but let me get the rest of my palettes. Face palettes and eyeshadow palettes. As you can see, I have a lot of palettes. So the Charlotte Tilbury, 
um, which has a powder, which clearly I have used lovingly, um, a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush, and then it has three eyeshadows, so I did consider this a face palette. I have the same Watt Aspiring palette, so it has a blush, a blush topper, and a highlight. I have this S'mores palette from Glamlight. So this is the face palette. So as of right now, I have three face palettes. So now the big heavy hitter is going to be the eyeshadow palette. This one is from NYX. It's the Cosmic Metals palette. Next, I have this Coca-Cola by Morphe palette. This one, I did a whole collection video on it. I really love this palette. You can get a lot of neutral looks, a lot of fun holiday looks. Um, so this one is definitely a fun one to use. This one, my boyfriend got for me. Um, it is the Violet Boss Sakura Blossom. Um, and it's just a pink palette, obviously cherry blossom inspired. Um, and I love the shimmers, I love the mattes. This one I have had for years and years and years. It's the Urban Decay Light Beam Eyeshadow Palette. I didn't use to, to use it because I really hated warm tones on my eyes, but I finally learned how to kind of play with warm tones a little more and make it work for my skin tone. Um, and then this one I got because my boyfriend is a Capricorn, but also it's a neutral palette. Um, it's the Zodiac Capricorn palette from BH Cosmetics. And then another one I have from BH Cosmetics is this Trendy in Tokyo palette. I love this one. It is the perfect rainbow palette. You've got mattes and shimmers in multiple shades in the same color too. This one from Revolution, have not used this at all, but it is an all shimmer palette. There are a couple of glitters in there, I believe. A couple other ones from Revolution. I have the Flawless 2 Ultra Eyeshadows, 32 Ultra Professional Eyeshadows palette. It's a pretty cool tone, neutral. There are a few warm tones on this end right over here, but it's a nice palette, small pans. This one I really wanted because one of the first people that I started watching on YouTube when I was watching beauty YouTube was Tammy Clark. Um, and she came out with, I think this was her first palette. Cause she came out with a couple different palettes with Revolution and I'm pretty sure this was her first collaboration with them. It's a beautiful package, a beautiful design. Super fun, really bold. A lot of mattes. Um, I'm glad that I got this so that I can support her. And then my last palette from Revolution is this one. This one is another influencer that I watched. Her name's Patricia Bright. It's a neutral palette with a few fun pops of color. So this is the first Pat McGrath palette I ever got. Um, but this is the... Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity Palette. I have definitely used this a few times, not as much as I should have given the price point, but I do really like it and I enjoy using it and the quality is absolutely phenomenal. And then my boyfriend got me these two. I think he just got them for me because I was watching the show Bridgerton and um, I saw the palettes and I really wanted them and he just didn't know which one I wanted, so he got me both. Um, which I'm so thankful for because they both are very different. So it's nice to have the different color stories. So this is the first one, the Mothership Bell of the Ball. I also have Mothership Diamond of the First Waters. That blue duochrome, it's like a bluish, purplish, reddish, pink shift. Ugh, it's beautiful. We have this one. This is another one that my boyfriend got me. It's the Manga Anime 30. Five eyeshadow palette book two from rude cosmetics this one is the perfect neutral palette you literally have every single neutral that you would need um, and it's super cute because it has like the chapters on the side and I just love this palette so much and then my last big palette is this pressed pigment palette from Nikki tutorials by Beauty Bay I was so excited when this launched so it's got like a colorful and a dark side so it is a mix of neutrals and color. The duochromes in here are insane, um, and the mattes blend out beautifully. And then I have these two Viseart palettes. So this is the Petite, Petite Pro Trois palette. This one is a beautiful, like, foresty, secret garden looking palette. This one is the Warm Edit. I believe this one has, like, a shadow that got 
smushed. Yeah, it's this one over here. So it came crumbled. So I tried pushing it back into the pan. It's a warmer color story. I have this one from Samoa Beauty. This is the Envision palette. It's a nice neutral, very like dainty, I guess the word is. It'll give you a nice wash of color. It can build up a little depth, but not too much. So this is like when I don't want to have like that no makeup makeup look, I'll use this one. This Harry Potter palette. Um, which my boyfriend got for me as well. He gets me so much makeup and I love him so much for it. This is the palette. It is gorgeous and I'm so excited to use it. I am gonna do a full video on the entire collection and I'm gonna use the palette and everything. Speaking of my boyfriend buying me makeup, the other day we went to Sephora and I was looking at the Natasha Denona quads and I was like, oh, maybe I'll just buy one. And he was just like, oh, just go buy four. I'm like, okay, great. I have the Natasha Denona Mini Retro, Mini Glam. I have to be more careful with these. So that's the other one. And then I did get the Natasha Denona Mini Biba. I know I already have the three pan Biba, but I'm gonna go through that one pretty quick. So I'm glad that I got this one. And then the last one that I got was the Natasha Denona Mini Zendo. So I really wanted to get all of these a, because they're pretty neutral. They do have some pops of color, but they will help me to get to know the Natasha Denona formula a little bit better. And it allows me to kind of like try the different color stories without committing to a single larger palette. I am very happy to have all four of these as well. So with that being said, now I have to count all of these. So I have... Twenty-three eyeshadow palettes. That is a lot of eyeshadow palettes for someone who uses makeup at the rate that I do, which is not a very quick rate. Um, so in total for my eyes, I have fifty-two eyeshadow products. That is absolutely insane. So. In total, I have 19 base products, 36 face products, 7 brow products, 20 eyeliners, 13 mascaras, 4 eye primers, 78 lip products, 3 face palettes, and 49 eyeshadow products. Okay, so clearly eyeshadow and lips are where I'm going to be cutting down and like making sure I don't purchase anything of. Face as well, specifically blush, because blush I have way too much of. I have 15 blushes. I also have 15 highlights. So highlight and blush, I'm not gonna be buying anything of. I'm not gonna be buying any lip products. I'm not gonna be buying any mascaras, because mascaras take forever to use, since you can use like one every six months or so. So lips, mascara, blush and highlight i will not be buying at all same with eyeshadow palettes so i have five categories that i will not be buying anything of the only thing that i will make the exception for is if there's a collection of an ip that i like super love and super into also if it comes to me in my ipsy glam bag I'm not, I mean, I'm still gonna count it as part of my makeup inventory, but I'm not counting that as me purchasing a product because I don't get to choose every item in my glam bags. I'm gonna be focusing on using up those items in those categories, but let's do a final count of the total number of makeup items that I have. I have 229 makeup items. That is absolutely insane. So my goal for the year is to at least get under 200. Like under 200 would be great. That's 29 items that I have to use. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking through this with me because it was a long video, I'm sure. And I was literally listing out every single item that I have and 229 items to go through all of them. That's a lot of time. Um, comment down below how big your makeup collection is too or how small. It doesn't really matter how many products you have. As long as you're happy and content with what you have, then 
that's all that matters. And I'm happy and content with what I have, but I also realize that I have way too much. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to comment, like this video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Alley Cat Beauty. And don't forget to ring that notification bell. That way you get a notification every time I upload a new video. With all of that being said, thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Alley Cats.